The United States invests billions of dollars each year in Earth-observing systems that help protect lives and property, preserve natural resources, and expand our understanding of the Earth. U.S. Earth observation efforts are distributed among more than 100 programs under the purview of federal agencies and non-federal entities that both produce and use these data. One of the USGS missions is to study and understand natural hazards, and we rely heavily on Earth observing systems and the critical information they provide. Understanding the relative value of each of these observing systems in meeting user needs is critical for prioritizing Earth observing investments. Through the land remote sensing programs, requirements, capabilities, and analysis for Earth observations, the U.S. Geological Survey is working with its partners to comprehensively document user requirements and the observation systems that can satisfy them. For the first time, USGS will have a complete view of Earth observing systems capabilities, can value the contribution of each system, and can develop a vision, a vision for the future informed by a comprehensive and enduring set of user requirements. Then integrating these user requirements into our decision process will help us better serve our stakeholder community and exercise good stewardship of the taxpayer's investment in Earth observing systems. As the nation's Earth observation capacity has grown, so has the complexity of this endeavor. The National Strategy for Civil Earth Observations is designed to maximize interagency coordination, increase the efficiency and efficacy of future Earth observation efforts, and promote environmental and economic sustainability. The 2012 National Earth Observation Assessment was a first. It provided us the first integrated look at Earth observing systems, thus informing the development of the National Plan for Civil Earth Observations. The plan presents a new framework for constructing a balanced portfolio of these systems. We are engaging hundreds of scientists, managers, and product creators to address this highly complex Earth observations landscape. To document the value currently delivered, we use a value tree technique to link the Earth observations to the benefit they provide. The value tree can be described in three parts. First, we define stakeholder interests and what users are trying to accomplish, the top of the value tree. Second, we identify and assess the products, services, and models that deliver the value of Earth observations. And third, we identify and assess the specific Earth observations and measures that form the foundation of this value, the base of the value tree. Multiple value trees can then be modeled within a single integrated framework from which user requirements are developed, maintained, and analyzed to inform decision making. For an event like Hurricane Sandy, a broad suite of observations are needed. Sensors deployed on satellites, aircraft, and in situ provide data that can be combined to model the impacts and help us create a vision of a more resilient and sustainable future. Having a comprehensive view and understanding of Earth observing requirements needed to support our hazards mission helps us to see and show others the integrated suite of Earth observing systems that provide critical information needed to do our work. We are committed to reaching out and working with our user community to capture user needs. Together with our federal partners, we are assembling this comprehensive, big picture view of the nation's Earth observing enterprise and assessing the relative value to our stakeholders. This unprecedented view of the requirements and capabilities will support the analysis needed to lay out the vision for tomorrow. We look forward to building this collaborative, integrated capability. We hope you will join us. To learn more, go to remotesensing.usgs.gov slash RCA dash EO.